All right, welcome in everybody. We're gonna give it about 60 seconds for everyone to come in, if anyone is registered and attending the session, um, for everyone to get settled in the room. Um, and then right at the one minute mark, we'll go ahead and do some table setting and some um, housekeeping options. And then we'll hand it over to our um, representative Jody from West Virginia uh, University. And we'll get started with the session. So hang tight for a second and we'll get started here in just a minute. All right, well, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, just a few, like I said, table setting, housekeeping announcements. First of all, thank you for joining us and welcome to the college virtual college exploration for all Ohio students that is sponsored by the Ohio Association for College Admission Counseling or more commonly known as OACAC and uh, hosted by StriveScan. So again, thank you for joining us. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions as you're watching live to our presenter at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so panelists can't see or hear you and this helps keep things focused on the presentation and the presenter at hand. And this is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out all the full schedule um, at oacac.org, and this presentation is being recorded, so you'll be able to check this out within a week at the same website, oacac.org, to watch on demand to re-review information that you may have gathered or maybe want to go over some other points, but with that, I would like to now turn it over to our presenter for the session. Thank you, Jody. Hello, and thank you for your interest in West Virginia University. My name is Jody Kilpatrick, and I'm your Ohio admissions representative. I'd like to tell you the top 10 things you should know about West Virginia University. Number one, there are three campuses spread throughout the beautiful state of West Virginia. In Southern West Virginia, WVU Institute of Technology is located in downtown Beckley, West Virginia. With just over 1300 students and 40 majors, WVU Tech offers a, a bachelor's degree in aviation management and culinary arts. In the Eastern Panhandle in Kaiser, West Virginia, WVU Potomac State College has just over 1,450 students and offers a combination of bachelor's and associate's degrees and is our only of the three campuses that offers associate programs. In Morgantown, just a short drive from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, is our flagship institution for the state of West Virginia. It is also probably the one that you most recognize and will be the one that I talk about for the remainder of the presentation. If you do want connected with the other two campuses, feel free to let me know and I'm happy to connect you with an admissions counselor from one of those two campuses. Number two, our students come from everywhere. So at the Morgantown campus, we have over 27,000 students with 21,000 undergraduate students. Our students represent all 50 states in the nation and 55 counties in the state of West Virginia. We have over 2,300 international students from 118 different countries, and there are 100 different languages that are being spoken on our campus at any given time. 51% of our students are from states other than the state of West Virginia. Number three. Our campus is made up of 14 different schools and colleges. So the School of Medicine, the School of Nursing, the Reed College of Media. These colleges are spread throughout our campus area and have their own individualized space on our campus. So I like to say that our campus is a lot of smaller campuses on a large campus setting with all of the large campus opportunities. So when you do select a major, it is part of one of these colleges and it makes your college experience at WVU a lot smaller. 
Number four, we offer 140 different undergraduate majors. This is just a sampling of some of the unique majors that we offer. One of the majors that we are very well known for are our forensic science majors. Students can major in forensic chemistry, forensic biology, or forensic examiner. We offer this program from the undergraduate major all the way up to the doctoral level. We also offer an aerospace engineering program. We offer neuroscience and biochemistry. In fact, with our neuroscience program, WVU offers the only Institute of Human Memory in the world on our campus. Another unique program that we offer at WVU are our three plus three law track programs. So you can complete an undergraduate degree in three years and then go on to the WVU School of Law. Another neat thing with that is no matter what state that you're from, if your degree comes from West Virginia University, your law school education will be at the end state rate. Uh, Sport and Adventure Media is a degree that WVU is the only school in the nation to offer. This is something that is brand new in the last two years and it is part of our School of Media. It is a journalism degree. Uh, we also offer some unique degrees, um, wood science technology, art technical history, and the list goes on. Number five, student life. We have a very active campus at WVU. We have 485 uh, plus organizations on our campus. And these organizations could be service oriented, major focused, professional, uh, we have every kind of intramural sport that you can think of. We have fraternities and sororities that are available. Some of our more popular organizations would be our Mountaineer Maniacs who support our collegiate teams. That is by far our largest and most popular organization. We also have some that you would probably never think of like the cheesy, the Red Lobster Cheesy Biscuit Club and the Grilled Cheese Club. So we do have a little bit of something for everybody. Um, also, we have 20 unique student departments on our campus. And this listed on the screen is just a sampling of them. Uh, one of the student departments that I wanna highlight is Adventure West Virginia. And Adventure West Virginia offers first year trips to our first um, time freshmen. So the summer before you come to WVU as a first time freshman, you would go out on an adventure orientation trip with 18 others first-time freshmen that are in the same boat as you, that they've most likely never been away from home, they're going to college for the first time, these are all new experiences that you're sharing together, and you would learn what it's like to be a student at West Virginia University, you learn about the resources that we have available, you get to know some of those other students, you get to know a little bit more about yourself, and then you also get to know the state of West Virginia because it is truly an adventure orientation trip. So you will go out throughout the state of West Virginia and there are different uh, trips to choose from, but most of them do involve whitewater rafting and hiking and camping and a variety of different um, options. Some of them are service learning oriented as well, which is a good segue into our service learning center. So if you are interested uh, in volunteering, maybe that's a big part of your life now and that's something that you want to continue WVU is a land grant institution and we definitely promote students uh, giving back to the community and we partner with 200 different local and statewide organizations to uh, volunteer for students to do volunteer work. So this particular department coordinates all of that. So you would have lots of opportunity to continue your volunteering and would have lots of support from the university. Uh, well WVU is another department that I want to uh, highlight briefly. Um, this department is exactly like it sounds. It's um, dedicated to the well to well being programs for our students. So whether it be um, combating stress, or homesickness, 
maybe time management, um, whatever it may be, they're there for you. And there are student ambassadors that are a part of this program as well. So it might be something that you would like to get involved in long term. Dining services is, is one of the 20 uh, student departments, and I always get questions about what's the food like at WVU? Well, I will tell you, you will not go hungry. We have 30 different places to eat spread throughout our campus area. Number six, it's very easy to apply to WVU. First, you have your choice of two applications. We are part of the common application, and then we were also have our own online WVU application. We do not require essays. We do not require recommendations. You simply send, fill out the application, send your high school transcript, We'll take your official scores or you can self-report on either the common application or the WVU application for your initial consideration. We ask that you provide your senior schedule and then you can either send your ACT and SAT score or ACT or SAT scores or not. This year we are test optional. Number seven, scholarships are awarded automatically. So um, one application, so you apply to the school, you apply to your major, and you apply for scholarships. So scholarships are based on your grades and your test scores. You'll see this sliding scale. Um, so if you, just for an example, if you have a 4.0, and a 31 ACT, you find yourself in this gold area on the graph, line it up here, and you get $16,000 automatically for four years. Now you may get additional scholarships from the department that houses your major. And so what I mean by that is, for instance, if you are an engineering major, you if you meet the credentials to get additional scholarship money from engineering, again, based on grades and test scores, you will get stackable scholarships on top of that 16,000. So we also reward test optional students too. So this is the graph for our test optional students. This information is all available on our website. And I do wanna note that we super score test scores. So if you were able to test and you are able to take the test more than once, we will take the highest score out of each section of the test and make a super uh, composite score. If you um, have a weighted GPA, we will use your weighted GPA. And number eight, the Ohio Reciprocity Agreement. So WVU and Ohio um, have an agreement with 40 of our majors. And if an Ohio student majors in one of these 40 majors that are listed here, you will receive in-state tuition, what is equivalent to about $17,000 off a year you would still qualify for departmental scholarships at the in-state rate. Number nine, there are many ways to connect. So um, in virtual land right now, we have several different um, ways for you to connect with us. Um, we have our Discover WVU Open House that is coming up this weekend, November 13th and 14th. So we have activities on Friday evening and then on Saturday, our faculty are available, our staff are available, clubs and organizations are available to ask questions. So bring all of your, all of your questions and we are happy to, to answer them. Um, we also offer tour guide live. So if you are 
unable to get to our campus, our student tour guides will are putting on a GoPro on their head and they're going through our campus and they are giving you a live tour just as if you were there. Uh, but we also have reopened our two visitor centers on our campus for tours Monday through Friday and Saturday tours. The tours are limited in the respect that smaller number of people uh, are allowed on each tour so they are filling up fast but we do have more tours available so to sign up for a visit to our campus www.visitwvu.edu we also have um, some meet wvu events online where our president president gee is available to ask questions current students are available so check out our uh, visit page and look to see what's available there are new things that are becoming um, available each and every week and uh, you can always uh, sign up for a call with me or um, something that is just specific for your area as well. At this time, um, that is all still virtual. And last but not least, number 10, I'm here to help. So again, my name is Jody Kilpatrick. I am the regional recruiter for Ohio. I work with all the Ohio students. I am here to answer all your questions about admissions, financial aid, enrollment, uh, and I can connect you with our campus. I appreciate your time today and I look forward to working with you in the future. All right. Well, thank you, Jody. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us or anyone that's watching this on demand after the session. Um, just a quick thing. If you're watching live, there will be a quick survey after this. We appreciate any feedback that you can give us. Um, OACAC and StriveScan would highly appreciate that. Also, again, sign up for more sessions at OACAC.org, and you can watch this and many other sessions for other universities or colleges you're interested in at OACAC.org as well. And with that, we'll let you guys go. Thank you very, very much, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.